Connor Ryan, your healthy food guru. Thanks for joining me today in the kitchen. We are gonna be making healthy lemon coconut balls. One of the main ingredients in these desserts is dates. And I wanted to show you a couple different kinds of dates and uh, give you a little bit more information about them. But these, these are sun sweet. You can find them in the dried fruit section near the raisins and any kind of conventional grocery store. They're pitted, which means the pit has already been removed. Easy to use. These I got just recently at Costco. Huge bag, two and a half pounds. They were on special for I think five or six dollars. And this will last me a long time. You can make a lot of different healthy desserts with dates. So it's just a good staple to have in your pantry. Uh, the other kind that we have is the medjool dates. And these are typically found in the produce section. I think I got these at Costco, but one thing about the medjool dates is typically there is still a pit in there. It's real easy to get it out. You just kind of squeeze it out and it might add another minute to your prep time. So it's not that big of a deal but just wanted to go over the different kinds of dates real quick. They all taste pretty much the same. Um, we are also going to be using coconut, obviously, lemon coconut balls. When you get your coconut, make sure that you get unsweetened because you just don't want any added sugar. Um, this is just, it's, it's naturally sweet a little bit, but just make sure that you get the unsweetened. Also, what we're going to be using is nuts, and you can use almonds, you could use cashews, pecans, really whatever you have on hand. Today, we're going to be using cashews, the raw cashews that I get from Trader Joe's. We're also going to be doing the juice of a lemon, as well as some lemon zest in these, a splash of maple syrup some chia seeds, and a little vanilla. So I'm gonna take you step by step on how to make these yummy desserts. And I hope you enjoy. Okay, so now we are going to put everything together in the food processor. We're gonna take a cup of dates. Again, if you're using dates that have the pit in them, We'll first find out if you are. If you are, go ahead and pop that pit right on out. A cup of nuts. The juice of one lemon, which is just about a quarter of a cup. I'm gonna do just a splash of vanilla. A dash of sea salt. splash of maple syrup. When I say a splash of maple syrup, that's probably a tablespoon. And then we've got three quarters of a cup of our unsweetened coconut flakes. And then in here, I have got the lemon zest of two lemons that I used my microplane to get the lemon zest. If you don't have one of those, I do highly recommend it. They are great to use in the kitchen. But we're just gonna put this lemon zest in there. And then we are going to put the top on. Make sure it's turned off before you put your lid in. So we have processed our mixture here and if you're having a hard time because it is a, it will be a little bit sticky but if it's What's not that? mixing properly in your food processor you can add a little bit of water but um, this is what it looks like and what we're gonna do is just scoop make some balls and then we've got in this bowl some more coconut flakes and some more lemon zest mixed together. And we're going to roll our balls in that. Just like that. 
And then we're just going to continue that process until this is all done. And then we will put this plate in the refrigerator and let them firm up. It doesn't take too long. And I mean, really, you can eat them soft. It's, they're still delicious, but they do taste good kept in the refrigerator. And uh, that is how you make these. So if you try it, let us know what you think. And I hope you enjoy them as much as I do.